At the end of their lives, not all stars end up as black holes. Many, which don't have enough mass to generate a black hole, paradoxically die in a much more violent and spectacular way. At a certain point, when the star has run out of fuel, it begins to compress, to the point that the nuclear forces of the particles inside it are able to stop the contraction. At that stage, new nuclear reactions begin, ending with a cascade of neutrinos that literally blow up the star. This is what is known as a supernova. At the center of the explosion is a stellar corpse, a neutron star. The material from this star is extremely dense. To give you an idea, a teacup full of this matter would weigh as much on Earth as the whole of Mount Everest. Neutron stars can be found alone or in double systems with one star orbiting the other. The waltz lasts billions of years, but over time the stars come closer and closer together. When they finally collide, both their extreme density and their velocity, which is one-third the speed of light, produce the largest known explosion in the universe, a kilonova. A kilonova, also called a macronova or R-process supernova, is a transient astronomical event that occurs in a compact binary system when two neutron stars or one neutron star and a black hole merge together. Kilonovas are thought to emit short gamma ray bursts and strong electromagnetic radiation due to the radioactive decay of heavy R-process nuclei that are produced and ejected fairly isotropically during the merging process. Two jets of gamma rays emerge from the explosion and if one were to hit the Earth directly, it would happen to completely wipe out the exposed hemisphere. Fortunately, this is very unlikely to happen. The process generates about a thousand times more energy than a supernova. The force of its explosion is so strong that we detect them on Earth as gravitational waves. In the same way that water in a pond forms waves when you throw a pebble. These events are such that they generate a very similar disturbance in space-time itself, the fabric that makes up our very reality. Some 130 million years ago, in a galaxy very far away, the smoldering cores of two collapsed stars smashed right into each other. The resulting explosion sent a burst of gamma rays streaming through space and rippling the very fabric of the universe. On August 17, 2017, those signals reached the Earth and sparked an astronomy revolution. The distant collision that created this kilonova is viewed as an astronomical marvel that scientists had never seen before. It was the first cosmic event in history to be witnessed via both traditional telescopes, which can observe electromagnetic radiation like gamma rays, as well as gravitational wave detectors, which sense the wrinkles in space-time that are produced by distant cataclysms. The detection, which involved thousands of researchers working at more than 70 laboratories and telescopes on every continent in the world, heralds a new era in space research, known as multi-messenger astrophysics. This is the breakthrough that scientists have been waiting for since the initial detection of gravitational waves a couple of years ago. Now, for the first time, they are able to observe the universe using two fundamental forces, light and gravity. By combining traditional visual astronomy with the Nobel Prize winning work of gravitational wave researchers, astronomers now have new means to probe some of their field's most enduring mysteries. The unknown force that drives the accelerating growth of the universe and the invisible matter that holds galaxies together, the origins of Earth's most precious elements, including silver and gold, and so on and so forth. On August 17, 2017, GW170817 made history as the first neutron star merger detected both by gravitational waves and electromagnetic radiation, or light. 
Since then, astronomers have been using telescopes around the world and in space to study the event across the electromagnetic spectrum. So cool, am I right? If you like this video, do share it with your fellow space buffs to let them know of the astronomical marvel that is the Kilonova. And definitely consider subscribing to our channel and supporting our work 